Woo! 4.6. Sun rays coming up ahead, mate. There it is. The first proper puzzle of the day. Bulls number two. Just sort of whispering. Nice sort of, well, the evening sort of took a bit of a turn. Hello, welcome back to Jeff Greenaway Outdoors. We're finally out in our first wild camp of 2024. Here we go. Buzzing off the, the Richter scale here at the moment. Been looking forward to this one for months, since Christmas probably. I've been harping on on the channel every week <coughs> about coming out for a camp. With a load of new stuff, it's just Stephen and myself. The night we've parked up at the car park. Uh, cracking afternoon here so far. As you see by the clips coming in there. Sun's out. It's a wee bit windy, but we'll get on with it. A few passing showers in the evening. And clear skies for the night. Fingers crossed for a star trail and all, but we'll get on to that later on. Like I said, I'm really excited to get going. So, bags are out of the car. We'll hit the trail. I'll hopefully we'll pitch it up soon enough. Thinking maybe up there. Oh, there's a couple along the river here. Spots to camp, but as I said at the start there. The winds are kicking up a wee bit, not much. I'll put the, the wire forecast on the screen now. I think it's giving 30 to 40 mile an hour at the moment, but then, like I said, to calm down. So, one pitch there if need be, or two or three down the river. We're going to check these ones out first. Uh, right of breath, we started off at a hectic pace here, as you can see. Got the new Highlander bag out, Ben Nevis 85 litre. I'll push it to the limits today. Going for a wee bit of comfort on the first camp as well. But I'll catch you along the river. Thirty minutes in there, not a big massive hike. Like I say I'm keeping it sort of simple for this one, for the first one. Just trying to find a perfect pitch here. I've got the beast, the robins out for the first time. Buzzing for it, can't wait. The wind is coming from the hill town side, and it's it's nothing much. Got a wee bit of hen mountain there, cock mountain, around the. Tormer Rock, Rocky Mountain, perfect pitch I think for the first one. Look at it. it is the new tent so I'll do a wee bit of video when I pitched it. I might not put it in because it might, <laughs> might take a couple of minutes but I've pitched it three or four times in the garden. Not a problem but you know what it's like when you're out in the wild. Get all fingers and phones but I'll bring it back soon. There it is. Always say that a tell the truth on the channel. I was a wee bit fingers and thumbs pitching it. Did catch the wind the odd time. But it's an absolute beauty. Right. Just round the back, all the vents are open now. Pegged in. Gate in. Uh, fire pit was here before. We'll not be using it either. Stay dry, thankfully. 
I'll get the bag again and then we'll show you around. There it is. The first proper puzzle of the day. The zip of the tent being open. Love that side. Bulls number two. The smell of a new tent. Hard to beat. Stephen putting the final touches to his. The Helm 2 compact. Cracking wee tent as well. But I'm absolutely loving this palace at the moment. Massive. If you watch the, the setup in my back garden, you know the sizes of it. Brilliant. I'll not do too much about the the size and all that there. I'll bring my stuff in, get set up, and then we'll take it from there. Very quick solution there. I'm sure if you've watched Wild Camper videos before, he's using a flex tail pump. Pumps up 20 seconds, not even maybe. Good wee job, works as a lantern. I'll not go through the details because you know what it is. 90 minutes after we left the car, two tents pitched, rucksack emptied out, got my food and uh, little snacks, comforts for the night. Down the back, you can see drone, batteries for the GoPro, batteries for the phone, clothes, down jacket, woolly hat. Some pajamas, socks, gloves. Oh, let me see, sorry. In here, pajamas, socks, gloves. Crack and tent. Loving it at the moment. Great views. Right out the door. Hand Mountain. Got Stephen. Not too sure if that counts as a crack and view or not, but there we go. Cock Mountain there. I say it was 90 minutes. But it was felt a wee bit rushed, so it did. So we're just going to take 10-15 minutes here, chill out. Maybe go for a down there. The sunset will be this way, so we're going to maybe go up rocky. See if we can get it, we've done it before. It is a bit of a slog. But we'll get a move on. That's why I got this tent. Big enough, get two or three people in if it does start raining. So you still have a good bit of crack for the panther. As you've seen, Stephen was picking his head out, getting his photos and all from it. Brilliant so far. I don't want to keep going on about it just in case it does do anything major fails on it, but we'll go for a walk. I think we might go up here a wee bit. Get a bit of a phone signal. Check here on the Grand National. It is coming on the 25 to 6, it should be over by now. Buzz number three, side of the gas stove, first cup of tea in the mountains, can't beat it. Touching the weather again, it's, it's turned out a cracker as you can see, sort of above me here, blue skies. Blue skies this way, fingers crossed for a clear night. Going by the forecast, it does say clear skies, so we might get a star trail, like I said, we'll start. Steve's talking about getting up to the Milky Way, maybe in between 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Don't know, a four craft beer here, so there's a good chance it might not. I said it took 90 seconds or 90 minutes to get from the car park to here. Just let us know we're not allowed to break any records. Just thought I'd mention that, I haven't mentioned it today. Uh, it seems to be a busy enough sort of trail. Trail's further back there, but maybe a lot of people doing the Duke of Edinburgh and stuff, which I'll, I'll speak about later on. Stephen's done a good turn. Hopefully, I remember to speak about that. He's done a good turn for the weekend. 
Cheers. Just sort of whispering. Nice sort of, well, the Aiden sort of took a bit of a turn. Not for the worst or anything, but. Uh, there's like a BB camp now has rocked up, and there seems to be like 24 of them, young lads, who have decided to try to pitch up beside. Which is fair enough, you know, we don't own the land or anything. Can't say anything. They're out learning, fair play to them. So, a few of them pitched up already. But I'm going to have my dinner. Nothing special. Past the pot. Sauce. Sort of camp was a bit rushed with the weather past few weeks, as we all know. It's been raining constantly. When I say a week, it's probably 52 weeks. But we've got out. Bit of dinner. And then we'll hopefully enjoy a few beers. Uh, got them out of Tesco's this morning. For wee cheese board. I don't think Stephen knows about yet, so we both like cheese, crackers, and stuff, so we'll get into them after this. But a crack, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to end up because obviously I'm not put video on outside the tent now, obviously, but it is what it is. We'll get on with it, we'll have a good night and enjoy ourselves. Just an update on the situation there, I was over talking to the two leaders, well, they're actually school teachers. It's a school trip out from Belfast. Uh, I said to make YouTube videos and all this here stuff, YouTube channel. And I would, they're obviously minors under age. I told them that I'd keep them out of the video, but I'll keep the video on the way. But if you hear no background noise, it's obviously them. So it is. Uh, and like I say, fair play them. They're out in the mountains, doing what we love to do, so can't complain. Out for a bit of a walk, catch the last rays. Sunset behind. It's coming up to five to eight. The wind. Uh, we're just down in the valley, down in there. We came up. The wind is kicking up a bit up here. It's not too bad when you're down at the tents. But that's probably as good as sunset we're going to get tonight. It's going to drop in behind that clouds. Drop in behind Rocky Mountain there, but. Nice to get out, stretch the legs. 10 or 15 minutes down there. Don't know what Stephen's out there. But we well, have actually taken a picture of the moon, which is up there if you can see it. We'll stay about here for 10 or 15 minutes, maybe not even. And then kick off back down to the tents. Maybe crack up with a beer. Cheers. Cheers. It's the first one of the evening. It's a brew dog, double hazy Jane. It's 7.2%. I'll not do a big beer review. First impressions. I think I've already done this one before, maybe at Don Severick, but here we go. Not bad. We're inside the tent in the Robin's Nest pub tonight. Door's sort of half open, the rain's coming in so we're going to close it up. One of them passing shots like I said earlier on, but 10 or 15 minutes hopefully, then we'll back out.
A little cheese board for Saturday evening. Wednesday dill. Mm. Chive and onion. A mature cheddar and a... Uh, not too sure what the orangey little one is. <laughs> okay. It's lovely, as Stephen says. So We'll crack on with this and then get a beer on, hopefully. Ten o'clock dead in the head, I'll keep it down. Uh, back to Stephen's good turn for the day, for the weekend in fact. I'm just a little, you know, little northern monk. Tank petrol. Ooh. Doesn't sound too good. Anyway, back to Stephen's good turn. Uh, his next door neighbour's son is doing a Duke of Edinburgh this weekend. And uh, Stephen went over. Not being a super pro, like a uh, wild camper or anything, or camper. He has lent him his uh, sleeping bag for the weekend. So, fair play to Stephen, and I think. Jack and uh, who's doing the Duke of Edinburgh was pretty pleased with the whole situation. Zoe X Fathom 300, so he was snug in that tonight. And I hope you have a good one, Jack, and the rest of you is doing the out there tonight. And uh, I think he's done 20 miles today, so fair play to you, just like these lads over here. Behind me. They have done a few miles tonight as well, so fair play to them all out learning about it, right, in the wild, so, hope you have a good night. Inside the tent, it's like uh, five degrees. Inside the tent, it's actually not too bad. I'm just waiting for this to warm up. But I'd say probably still. Or it's going up. It's probably up to about seven or eight degrees now. Uh, I have the sleeping bag, the X pad mat, and the foil mat underneath it. Well, cozy enough to eat. I've got uh, some sort of thermal pajamas on. <laughs> Uh, Stephen's called it a night there at it's coming up to 20 past 12 he was out doing his uh, night photography I'm fair to him because he's got some cracking shots so he has and uh, hopefully we'll put them over this here if he emails me them quick enough uh, Mr President Brewdog was uh, horrendous by the way, 9.2, put anybody smoke out. Tent at the moment, all good, so it is, it's keeping the heat, dropping the heat really well. I had a couple of beers in here as well. Has the night techno on. Like I say, it's going to be, what, oh, it's actually six hours now, dead in the head of the sunrise. We are going to get up at maybe 5.20, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll head over to Hen Mountain and uh, get some sort of sunset, or sunrise, not sunset. Uh, so, we're further to do, I'm going, I'm going to put my head down, hopefully get five hours here. Good kip. And then uh, I'll see us in the morning. I can't see anything happening during the night here. It's come by the forecast, it's clear night. No wind forecast or anything, so I'll see us in the morning. 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 Uh, not too sure if I'd see that. Day 37. Uh, first things first, I was having a crack and sleep again. 
like a trichology pillow, a trail, leisure, pillow, pathetic, well, I'm on the hunt for another pillow probably, woke up about 3 o'clock this morning, like I say, and my head was absolutely freezing, the rest of me was toasty warm, in the blanket, in the tent, but, We've approximately 45 minutes to sun sunrise. And I think we're going to head hand mountain here for it. So, I'll get changed. Stephen's up and all. I'll get my traction pumps on and then we'll head the track up. Four past six, sunrise coming up at Hem Mountain. I'm busted, that was 35 minutes hard work. Ten to seven. That's what we came for. Sunrise. Stephen getting his Instagram shots. Have a mouthful of sensation peanuts there. Lovely. Breakfast. Let's take our time here. Take it in. Lovely morning. Down over that way. Is the camp I'll just leave you a wee bit of sunrise <sighs> Temperature drops in the shade uh, Kicking on 5 past 7 now Sunrise done I'm going to head back down to the, the tents <sighs> Some lovely colours but here Over Torma Rock, Pierce's Castle, Sleeve Muckamore in the far distance, I think it is. There's an the eagle. Eagle might be under the clouds. Sleeve Muckamore here. Lovely colours. Stephen's coming behind. Ooh. We'll go down and get a bit of breakfast. Pack up and then hit the road home. Feeding time again. The Tesco's instant oats, a cup of tea, five to eight. Stephen's used his water filter for the first time. Good job. Comes out at a good rate, and uh, he says it does taste like clear water, so take his word on it. We'll get this in this and then we'll start breaking camp. Hit the road. That's it, we'll be away for. Quarter past half nine, hopefully. Back at the car for shortly after ten. One last look at the tent for this week. Served me well. Served us well in it last night. Couple of rain showers. Come into the vestibule. Got a few beer. I'll not give a, a review or thoughts on it just yet, but well, I'll give a wee thought because it is it's a good tent at the moment. I'll drop it now and then bring it back. Nobody wants to see uh, you dropping a tent. It's it's 
pretty sad occasion, so it is. Stevens leave no trace. He's got his rubbish bag, he'll be taking out with him. Over here. Where he was. Just there, flat grass. Leave no trace. I'll just check out in this video now, so well. Thanks for watching. Come along. If you're new, like it, subscribe it if you want. It'll be weekly ones. Hopefully out next week again camping. Uh, great night. Can't knock it. Up for sunrise. Got a sunrise hike in obviously then. Uh, young lads kept themselves to themselves. We kept ourselves to ourselves over this side. Uh, brilliant night in the tent. Love that Robbins. Pan Air 2EX. Stephen was in his helm too. Compact so it is 5 past 9. Should be back in the car for quarter to 10, 10 o'clock. Just take our time going down here. Uh, so I'll just leave it here. I'll see you all next week.